Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a kind of like a makeup tutorial slash first impression slash new products. So as you guys know, the drugstore has been killing it with new drugstore products and it's kind of been hard to keep up with because there's just so much stuff coming out left and right that I'm like, oh, I don't know what I want. I want it all, but everything's getting so expensive. With that said, I do have, and I have shopped a little bit, and I have some new products that I've been using, or that I actually used for the first time in this video. I did try out for the first time the Maybelline Master Contour, and this is what's on my face today. As you can see, this is what I use to bronze up my face. This is the highlight and the blush that I'm wearing, and this highlight is life. I'm also using the Master Fix, um, the setting, powder by Maybelline. This one's um, new as well and I tried it for the first time so far. I really like it. also used two of the new Maybelline Dream Velvet Soft Matte Foundations. These are the two that I have. I will have the numbers that I use down below and then I use the new CoverGirl True Blend Face Primer for dry skin because my skin has been flaky. And on my eyes I am using also the new Maybelline The Rock nudes palettes so that's what I used to achieve this look so if you guys want to know how I like these products etc stay tuned for the video and again just watch out for an update on the description bar or in the comment section to let you know uh what I think about these products so thank you guys for watching enjoy the video and I'll talk to you soon so since I don't have any new Maybelline primers I'm actually going to take this new one this is the CoverGirl True Blend right the face primer for dry skin and I haven't used this so we'll see how it works I'm going to apply this to the face um, just because I have been a little bit more on the dry side now that winter you know has been here so my skin has been a little bit more on the dry side and I've been wanting to try out face primers that will give you a little bit more um what do you call it moisturize my skin a little bit more by the way excuse the background yeah I was trying to get it to work but it wasn't working so let's just see past that for my foundation um I'm gonna use the new Maybelline Dream Velvet Soft Matte Hydrating Foundation now, unfortunately, the color selection sucks really, really bad. I originally got 90 Honey Beige, which is this one right here, and it is way too dark for me, like way, way too dark. And then I went and picked up 75 Natural Beige, and then it's too light. So I do have to mix them both in order to get somewhat my color. So I'm going to take a little bit of this because this foundation is very heavy, very, very heavy. You can easily go um, drag queen with this. So I'm just going to apply a little bit. And I'm actually going to apply it with my damp beauty blender. So it can share it out just a tiny bit. Just because like I said it is very thick. Very full coverage. And I can easily get really cakey with this. Even mixing these two colors together I'm still not getting my ideal color like my true skin color that's okay I'll just have to work with it so that's what the foundation looks like I don't know if on camera it looks like I'm like super white how I'm seeing it right now it's not that off but hopefully we can fix it anyway with a little bit of bronzer um, unfortunately this foundation is just not my favorite I really really tried liking it I do like the consistency of it and I do like how full coverage it is and I do feel like it's not over drying on the skin. It's not too matte. It's just like perfect, you know, but the color selection again is absolutely just ridiculous. I just, I can't, you know, like even mixing these two colors, it's just not even my foundation color and that's the only thing that kind of sucks about this foundation. So, yeah, for these, in my personal opinion, I just, if you're maybe my skin color, 
you probably won't even get a good color mixing these two as you can see you can either go too dark or go too light so there's really no in between so if you haven't gotten your hands on these and again you're around my skin color I would definitely say just skip these foundations and go for the L'Oreal um, Lumi Cushion Foundation. That's like my absolute favorite at the moment. I'm really quickly going to go in with my concealer and I'm going to be using a little bit of my LA Girl Pro Conceal and this is the orange one and then I'm going to apply a little bit of the Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin Concealer. So now I'm going to take the Maybelline Master Fix um, Setting Plus Perfecting Loose Powder. This says that it sets and mattifies, blurs, and smooths. So this is the first time I'm trying it out. And I'm going to just really quickly dust it around the eyes just to set that concealer. I'm not going to bake with it because I just don't feel like it. But I'm just going to... I'm actually just going to set my whole face with this powder. Um, this one actually reminds me a lot of the LA Girl um, setting HD powder or whatever. So I'm just going to take that on a big brush and I'm going to just completely set my face. So now I'm going to move on to the contouring part and this is also a new product by Maybelline. This is the Master Contour from Medium to Deep. So I think I'm going to take a brush like this to contour. Um, it does, you know, kind of give you instructions on what to do. So I'm going to take some of that. I don't know if it'll be the right color to contour with, but we're testing it out. Wow, that's actually really pigmented. Definitely not a color to contour with. It's more on the warm side. So it is a good bronzing shade, which I can appreciate. So let me just buff this out. And I'm just going to use that to warm up my face all over. I'm going to take the blush and it's a really pretty golden blush and I'm just going to apply that to the cheeks. Actually really pretty as well. It has just the slightest sparkle of gold which will give you a nice like shimmery blush if you wanted to skip out on the highlights but let's be real i like to go like a disco ball so now i'm going to take that highlight shade and i'm going to pack it on like i normally do so that is the highlight it's really pretty and I would say that it's very comparable to more high-end highlights. It's not as intense, but it's definitely there. You can definitely see the highlight. And if you wanted to intensify it, just add a little bit of Fix Plus onto your brush and it'll go on wet, which will intensify it so much more. But I really like this blush and the highlight as well and pretty much everything. So now I'm going to move on to the eyes and I'm going to be using the new Maybelline The Rock Nude. I'm going to take this first color right here and it's like a gray, like a muted gray and I'm going to apply that all over the crease just to work as a transitional color. So 
So I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, I can see it a little bit on the eyelids, but it's not something that is super intense. It, it's a nice transitional color, but I wish it had a little bit more pigment to it. I'm gonna take this next shade and it is a really pretty like plummy color and it's also a matte. I'm also going to apply that to the crease. And then I'm going to take this color right here. It looks like it has a little bit of purple to it. And I'm going to apply that to the center lid. I'm actually just going to take that with my finger. And apply it that way. Hmm. It's not as pigmented as I wish it was. Um, Unfortunately... I think again, Maybelline just ugh, didn't really do it well with this palette. I have tried um, this color and the black color before with, I think that same, no, I used this eyeshadow and it just, I just, I'm not pleased with it. So I think I might have to return this. I don't know. I might keep it. We'll see. But if you guys are thinking about getting this one and you like, the original Maybelline Nudes one. Um, I mean, if you like that first palette, then you might like this one. Me personally, I just don't think it's worth it. It's not very pigmented. They are a little bit creamier than the first palette, but again, you just really have to go the extra mile to pack it on, break it in, repack it on, blend it out, and then reapply it. So I just, I don't see myself even using this palette, so I think I am going to be returning it. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish off my eyes. And I have something on my eye. I'm just going to go ahead and finish off the eyes and then we'll be done. So I went ahead and put on some lipstick. This is actually um, the new Milani ones. I'm wearing, what's this called? Adorable. I do have a video on these. So this is the final look using some of the new drugstore products. I actually have more in here. I have some Milani eyeshadows and some CoverGirl stuff. So I will be doing a video, like a review, either tomorrow or the day after that. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did like it, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also please don't forget to subscribe. Remember that we are trying to reach a goal for the end of the year of 2016 of hopefully hidden, hidden? hitting 100,000 subscribers. I know that's a very long stretch, but if you guys really enjoy my videos, don't forget to subscribe. It helps me out a ton. So with that said, thank you guys for watching. Again, please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.